The majority of chicken feed. The majority of chicken feeders and waters are way overpriced. They're fancy and they do the job, but they you really don't need them. So I'm gonna show you guys how to take a $20 trash can from Walmart and a $20 to $30 kit from Amazon and make your own feeder that will hold bags and bags of chicken feed and tons and tons of water. So let's go. First, you take your brand new, brand spanking new trash can and you're gonna drill some holes in it. Normally those kits come from Amazon with a fancy drill bit that's made exactly for them. That little drill bit was for the waterers, and this one is for the feeder, because that's what the feeder cup is going to go on. So you're just going to cut out your holes. Cut them out about uh, chest height for the chickens. You don't want to go too low because they'll get muddy, nasty, dirty, like I did with my five-gallon bucket versions. Or you don't want to go too high to where they can't reach them. Especially, you got to think, if you're going to have baby chicks, how you're going to use them. So, let's do it. Not too low, not too high. Just... Right! This is taking a very long time. Got it! You can see down there I have four holes. Now you gotta attach these feeder cups, which are gross, and I need to wash them into this hole right here by screwing on this on one side and putting this on the outside. And this works like this. Put a little spring in there. So when there's enough water in there, it stops the flow of water, and when there's not, it goes up. So when they're up, you need to refill your chicken water. See, I cleaned them. Now let's install them. Just the tricky part. Not really tricky, it's just time consuming. You gotta twist really hard and make sure you have your seals all on correctly. Each one of these kits comes with like a, a rubber seal. And you want to tighten it really tight, especially because there's a curve in the trash can. So you want to tighten that up so it meets the whole thing and kind of busts out that curve. Because otherwise, you will have leaky water. When you're doing this, you can either thread it, which you don't need to do, or you can pop it. And this is it when it's all done. We got a spigot on all four sides, and we'll be drinking water like nobody's business. Time to fill this baby up. And here they are, enjoying their feast of water. It stays ever plentished as long as I keep it filled. Bonus points on this system if you have it auto fill with rainwater or some other way, but I can come out and fill it once every four days. That will be easy. Now that we have that beautiful water done, let's make a feeder. I miss showing you drilling the quiet. I miss showing you drilling the holes, but we do want to come back through here and get all this nasty stuff, put it in a trash can, get it out of here. That way we can get ready for our cups. These are honestly very easy cups to use. You put the top that extends out further on top. This goes outside, this goes through, and then they can eat through that little hole in the bottom. So they go and the food consistently comes down in the trash can. So it's very simple to use, very easy to put on, eat like no problem whatsoever. There's no seal issue. I've never had the food get wet and boom, Bob's your uncle. And just like that, we got a feeder. This one only had three cups left. So we got three cups worth and that will be plenty. They will feed, feed, feed. 32 gallon trash can. So that's it. If you guys wanna make a feeder and a water, for a very, very, very affordable price. Probably all of this under $100 for feeder and water and at 32 gallons each, you're gonna be feeding and watering chickens like crazy.